A basic observable is generally unicast, meaning it emits to a single subscriber. So when there are multiple subscribers, each subscriber gets a new observable. A subject is multicast, meaning it emits to multiple subscribers. Multiple subscribers share the same emissions. Using a subject, we provide the same notification to multiple subscribers, effectively sharing data throughout the application without close coupling. This is a good time to introduce the concept of hot and cold observables. The observables we've worked with so far in this course do not emit any items until there is a subscriber. These are often called cold observables because they don't do anything but sit there in the cold waiting for a subscription. When our code subscribes to a cold observable, the observable activates the source. The source generates events or provides data, and the observable emits the event or data. Cold observables are normally unicast and emit only to that subscriber. When another observer subscribes, the items are again emitted to that subscriber. Each subscriber gets its own set of emissions. The observable return from an HTTP GET is an example of a cold observable. We must subscribe, or let an async pipe subscribe for us, before it emits any values. Other types of observables activate the source upon creation. They then start emitting right away, even if there are no subscribers. When subscribed, the subscriber starts reacting to future emissions. This is often called a hot observable because it's already hard at work emitting items, potentially even before there are any subscriptions. Hot observables are normally multicast, meaning other subscribers share those emissions. Creating a subject defines a hot observable. Using the next method, we emit notifications with the defined data to the observable, even if there are no subscribers. This allows us to emit anything we want. We'll examine this syntax shortly. Let's look at some examples. Here is a cold unicast observable. The observable just sits there doing nothing until our code subscribes. Then the observable activates the source and it emits a notification with each value to that subscriber. If another subscriber subscribes, the observable emits each of the values again to that subscriber. And here's a hot multicast observable. This subject immediately starts emitting notifications with the defined data, even though there are no subscribers. When our code does subscribe, it receives the next emission. Any prior emitted values are just lost. There were no subscribers yet to react to them. Any later subscribers receive the next emission and all subscribers receive the same emission. When working with a subject, it's important to pay attention to when it emits and when subscribers subscribe. The code will miss any emissions that occur before their subscription. What if we want a later subscriber to receive the prior emission? That's the purpose of a behavior subject. When using a behavior subject, the most recent emitted value is automatically cached by the behavior subject. The value is then emitted to any new subscriber as an initial value. The observable emits the next notification to the subscriber and caches the emitted value. Every late subscriber always gets the cached value as its initial value. And all subscribers share the same emissions. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe!